Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Anne. And today I'm gonna do a video on major shifting changes that are going to happen for you before 2022. So remaining days of October, November and December, what's coming in, what may happen during this time, we're going to focus on that today. Now I tried to make this setup look a bit more, I guess scary you could say, but clearly it's not working, but this is what we're working today. So anyways, uh, but I'll show you guys the cards properly in a second. But before I do, I would like to give a disclaimer that this is a very generalized reading. It's going to resonate for some of you. It's also not going to resonate for others of you as well. If you wish to book a more in-depth and a more personal reading with me, all the prices and where you can contact me is going to be in the description box down below, as well as on the pinned comments. So do check that out if you're interested. Um, also, guys, I would really appreciate if you guys can like and subscribe and join my community. It means a lot to me. And that is it. Let's start with the reading right now. Hey guys, so welcome to the pile selection. This is pile number one, this is pile number two, and this is pile number three. So if you need more time, you can pause the video right here. You can meditate on the stickers or use your intuition and see which pile calls out to you. So this reading is going to be on major change, major shifting changes that are going to happen for you before 2022. So once again, this is pile one. Pile one has this Naruto ramen sticker. Pile two has this Patrick Star sticker and pile three has Buttercups sticker. So see which pile calls out to you. And yeah, if you need more time, you can pause the video, but let's start with the reading right now. Hi there, pile number one. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Anne. And today I'm going to do a video on major shifting changes that are going to happen for you before 2022. So remaining days of October, then November, and then December, what's coming in, what may happen during this time, I'm going to focus on that today. So before I start with the reading, first of all, happy Halloween. I hope everyone has an amazing Halloween. I hope you guys get tons of candies, dress up amazing, like, you know, do your thing, okay? and I'm just gonna pretend this is blood I tried to have like you know a scary setup clearly it's not working I'm mean, clearly it's not working but we're just gonna pretend this is blood and not a fireplace and yeah anyways so I'll show you guys the cards in a second but before I start with the reading I would like to give a disclaimer that this is a very generalized reading it's gonna resonate for some of you it may also not resonate for others of you as well if this pile doesn't resonate you can see the other two piles if this entire video doesn't resonate then this reading wasn't meant for you during this time if you wish to book a more in-depth and a more personal reading with me all the prices and where you can contact me is going to be in the description box down below as well as on the pinned comments so do check it out if you're interested in that I would also really appreciate it if you guys can like and subscribe and join my community it means a lot to me and comment on this video as well if this really resonated or you feel like it's gonna resonate or if you have any topics or anything that you want me to do readings on i love hearing from you guys but that is it let's start with the reading right now enough with the self-promo you know so the sticker you chose is naruto ramen this is just a sticker that has naruto eating ramen <laughs> Good description. Anyways, so your oracle cards are nothing will come out of the situation. Void of course moon. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So I feel like some of you could be Sagittarius's or Sagittarius season could be a very important time for you, prominent time for you in terms of your shifting journey. Sagittarius season begins from end of November to December time. So yeah, I feel like during that time, things can change abruptly for you, or maybe you are Sagittarius and during that time, things can like, you know, drastically change because it's your birthday season. So either of that. Okay, so, okay, from this. Four of Wands. The Moon card. The Six of Swords. four of cups and the emperor card okay so i feel like pile number one this reading is entirely somewhat based on control i feel like control is the word for you in terms of changes that are happening within, within your shifting journey so if you see this reading there's a four of wands four of cups and the emperor card usually to me Whenever I get multiple fours in a tarot reading, I take it as a sign of victory. I take it as a sign of alignment. So in your case, I feel like with the four of wands and the moon card next to each other, 
it's talking about maybe for some time you were just chasing or you were just doing things that did not feel right to you or it did not feel like it was doing anything for your shifting journey like maybe you were talking to people you were trying different methods you were trying everything on, in the book but it just felt like it was never really working or it was it was just never really going in your favor so for some of you, I feel like maybe you have been struggling a bit in terms of your shifting journey, struggling a bit to shift properly or figure out things, figure out methods that's going to be suitable for you or it's going to work out for you. So I feel like you were definitely in this like energy for some time. Like if you see this card, this boy is chasing or playing with this fox here. So in your case, I feel like this is talking about playing with the unknown, playing with the fire. Like you were talking to people other shifters, experienced people, or you were just going with the flow, doing things, but it just never really worked out for you and you just never felt like this is it or this is going to work out for me. I know this is it. So it just never really clicked for you at that level. And with the moon card next to it, I feel like this is a strong indication that for some for some time you are protecting yourself. Even though, even despite knowing that this is not working out for you, even despite feeling anxious here and there, you still protected yourself by giving yourself like, let's say false hope or just telling yourself it's going to work out. But for some reason, it just never did. So there was like a sense of like protection. You were protecting yourself. And I feel like those barriers are going to come to an end. You're taking more control, more initiative when it comes to your shifting journey. So you're going to walk away from this. I feel like this is talking about a transition here. This four of wands and the six of swords is, a talk, is talking about transition here. In the first card, this boy is playing with the fox here. In this one, he's chasing it away or he's moving away from it. So I feel like in your case, this is talking about having this transition. You're transitioning from just doing, just going with the flow, just doing things. You're transitioning it from and realizing like, hey, it's not working. I'm not satisfied with it. I'm not happy with the results or I'm not gaining any results. This is where I feel like you're going to walk away. So I feel like one of the major changes I see in terms of your shifting journey is realizations. You're going to realize that, hey, certain things are not working out for me. I'm not necessarily happy right now. I'm not necessarily, uh, you know, ex experiencing things or improving as well. So this is where I feel like you're going to cut those energies off. Whether this is people that are giving you um, information, whether these are posts or community posts in general or just the communities itself, I feel like you're going to be like, you know what, this isn't working. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to leave this community or I'm going to stop looking at the post. I'm going to start doing things that's good for me. So for some of you, I feel like this is a huge blockage. You're listening to other people's opinions. You're taking all the posts or the things that you see on communities very seriously. And you're going to have this realization and you're going to be like, you know what, no, not anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. And this is where I feel like this protecting yourself, protecting your demands, your needs is coming in. And you're taking more initiative. You're taking more control in terms of protecting your ideas, protecting your needs and demands. And this is where I feel like people are also going to see you and they're going to admire you in a different way as well. Because they're realizing that you're not taking anyone's BS anymore. You're not doing things just focusing and just following other people. You're coming up with your own ideas, your own methods or your own knowledge in a sense. And you're, and you're implementing that in your reality or in your system in a sense. So this is where I feel like the situation is improving for you and you're going to feel much more better. Now, when it comes to your Oracle cards, look at the bigger picture. Nothing good will come out of the situation or will come out of the situation. So I feel like you have been in this void for some time numbness doing things going after things going with the flow but it just never really clicked for you and you will sooner or later realize that nothing is going to happen if i continue doing this i'm not going to shift i'm not going to improve um i'm not going to even improve in terms of like you know giving myself hope i'm just going to be stuck in this so this is the point where you're going to be like you know what i'm going to move on from this i'm going to try something different and for some of you i feel like you're going to cut friends um, shifting friends. Some of you are going to take breaks from communities or possibly even going to leave the communities because you're like, this is just feeding me negativity. I feel like some of you could be on TikTok as well. 
like you know tiktok influence advices or tiktok influence methods i feel like you're just heavily influenced by that i feel like you're gonna be like no i don't want to do this anymore so there is definitely a form of like leaving something behind and focusing on elsewhere focusing on um, your needs and demands and i feel like one of the biggest realization you're gonna have is you control your situations you complete yourself. You don't need other people's opinions. You don't need other people's advice as well to complete you. This is going to be one of the biggest changes that's going to happen for you. Taking initiatives, taking control and realizations that I can do it and I'm going to be able to do it. That confidence that's coming in is going to be one of the biggest things that's going to happen for you in the remaining three or two months. So this pile is all about control, like taking control of your of yourself taking control of your own situations looking at the bigger picture like yes some of you may also wonder that i just wasted so much time i have been in this for so long this is just a waste of time well it's not a waste of time you probably did gain some type of experience or some type of knowledge out of this so don't look back in the past that's your advice don't think about what has happened focus on your present focus on what can happen and what you can achieve that's the focus you should have what can i do right now and what can happen in the future that is the focus and that should be your focus not just focusing on the things that has happened in the past, not focusing on the things um, that did not go in your favor or the trauma or like the people that did not give give in to you. Don't focus on that. Try to uh, like try to eliminate that from your life and focus on the next big chapter. Con control, taking control of your life um, and taking control of the shifting journey as well. It's going to be the thing that you can do here. So to summarize, I feel like this reading is all about taking control and four is an important number for you, some of you. Some of you could be Tauruses here as well and Aries as well. Uh, someone born around like April or like uh, March time Aries or like Tauruses as well. Um, but in general, I feel like I feel like you're going to improve a lot and I think you're going to mature a lot in terms of how you perceive this, how you think and take care of things as well when it comes to your shifting journey. So that is going to be your change, major change. So I hope this reading resonated for you, pile number one, or made some sense to you. Once again, if you wish to book a more in-depth and a more personal reading with me, all the prices and where you can contact me is going to be in the description box down below. So do check it out if you're interested. But that is it. If you want to look for more major changes that are going to happen for 2022 or before that, click the video right here. And that's it. I love you all so much and see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi there, pal number two. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Anne. And today I'm going to do a video on major shifting changes coming in before 2022. So remaining days of October, November, December, what's coming in during this time generally, as well as like major changes. I'm going to focus on that today. But before I start with anything, happy Halloween. I hope you guys all have an amazing Halloween. Get tons of candies, dress up amazing, and just overall have the best time, okay? And um, I tried to make the setup look a bit more scary today, but clearly it's not working. Like, you know, it's clearly not working. And this just looks like a fireplace, but we're just going to pretend this is blood. Um, yeah, let's just pretend this is blood, okay? Um, but yeah, let's start with the reading. So before I show you guys the cards properly, I would like to give a disclaimer that this is a very generalized reading. It's going to resonate for some of you. It may also not resonate for others of you as well. So if this pile doesn't resonate, you're free to see the other two piles. If this entire video doesn't resonate, then this reading wasn't meant for you during this time. If you wish to book a more in-depth and a more personal reading with me, all the prices and where you can contact me is going to be in the description box down below, as well as on the pinned comments. So do check it out if you're interested in that. Do comment on this video as well if this reading resonates or it made some sense to you or if you guys have any requests or any topics that you want me to do videos on also guys do like and subscribe it means a lot to me and it helps a lot too all right if you guys wish to see more major changes that are coming in before 2022 click the video right here and you can see other changes aside from shifting but that is it let's start with the reading enough of self-promotion anyways so the sticker that you guys chose is patrick with money yeah that is the description anyway so let's see your cards let's do your oracle cards first bring love into the situation what do you need to release 
morning moon and new moon in Aquarius. So I feel like some of you could be Aquariuses here or air signs in general. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or this energy is like very strong or very important for you during this time. We're going to get into it. All right, so the death card. Knight of Wands. I feel like some of you were taking a break in terms of your shifting journey. Two of Cups. The Magician and the will of fortune okay so what type of changes are coming in for you i feel like this reading is mostly based on rebirth i feel like whoever picked up this pile um you're on the verge of giving yourself a rebirth or having different perception and different ideas when it comes to your shifting journey so with the death card here it's a strong indication that some of you were taking a break for some time like maybe lost hope you were just like scattered everywhere like your mind was scattered your ideas your knowledge everything just like felt very scattered and you couldn't find the passion you couldn't find the right words or the right way to give yourself motivation for some time so this is what the death card is indicating i feel like some of you even gave up like not just even taking a break like you entirely gave up on this you were like this is hopeless this is not gonna work out i feel nothing i don't know nothing i'm not too sure what's gonna happen so I feel like some of you were struggling with this energy for some time, either taking a break or some of you just literally gave up on it. Like you couldn't find any answers, you couldn't find any hope, like why isn't it working for me, what can I do, or just in general, I feel like you were just very lost about everything. So that's kind of like what I see here for um, pile number two. I feel like the Knight of Wands, it's like there was always like this ray of hope. Even though you felt like, okay, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Nothing is working out for me. What am I going to do? What is supposed to happen for me? You were definitely in that energy, but there was always this like ray of hope. And I feel like that hope made you like not quit or not give up on this entirely because you're still seeing this reading or you're still here. So I feel like this ray of hope was always there. Like you were always seeing things or always trying to gain information or gain knowledge about this. So I think that energy was definitely there. I feel like with the Two of Cups and the Magician card, either this reading or somehow a friend, a post, or somehow your energy itself is going to change. And you're going to be like, I want to give this a shot. I want to give this a try. And you're going to start things from scratch again, uh, like making your scripts again coming up with different methods or doing something that maybe you haven't done in the past before. So giving yourself that rebirth, giving yourself that extra push to kind of like go towards something that's going to be more beneficial for you and more stable for you in the long run. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is an amazing card to get here. This reading is so positive. Like, yes, it starts off with a bit of like negative energy. It starts off with a bit more like, you know, pessimism. But as like the energy progresses, it's talking about like so much positivity, so much abundance. And it's just like almost like the universe is also giving you a miracle. That type of energy coming in. So I feel like with the Two of Cups, I think you're definitely going to get some help. This could be like maybe for some of you, it's going to be your significant other from your desired reality. For some of you, this could be a best friend or a person that you're trying to shift with. They're giving you so much motivation. They're trying to help you. For others of you, I feel like this is also going to be spirit guides. Like some of you could be very spiritual or asking or seeking help from like tarot readers or maybe you do divination methods yourself. So this is this is indicating like maybe spirit guides for some of you. They're helping you rebrand yourself. They're helping you re like, you know, start this from scratch again. So for some of you, these are like literal people. For some of you, these are like entities that are helping you during this time. But nonetheless, you're going to gain some type of help. And this is going to help you and this is going to uplift you to try and go for give this a give this giving this like another shot like giving this another try. I feel like this energy itself is going to like you know push you towards giving this another shot with this magician card here, I feel like sooner or later at some point you're going to realize that you're amazing when it comes to manifestations. you can like manifest everything without even worrying too much or without even giving that much effort and that's going to be one of your biggest confidence like you're gonna be like you know what whatever i try whatever i want to get i can get that if i give it a try so that is going to be one of the other changes that are happening for you as well you're realizing your worth you're realizing that there are a lot of different things that you can achieve there are a lot of different things that you can manifest so there is going to be a different energy when it comes to confidence letting go of insecurities or that pessimism because if you see all these cards 
it goes from negative to positive and to like an amazing card. This Wheel of Fortune is an amazing card to get. It's talking about abundance. It's talking about so much positivity coming in, in terms of like how you perceive the situation as, how you perceive yourself as, all these changes are coming in for you. I feel like for some of you, this change will happen during like December time. For some of you, it's going to start off like within like Scorpio season. So we're already in Scorpio season. It's probably going to start like within a couple of days to maybe like in November time. But for some of you, it's going to start off in like December. For others of you, it's going to start off in like Scorpio season. Like you're being more playful within yourself. You're realizing a lot of different things. You're being more confident. And it's going to be visible as well. Other people are going to notice that about you too. I feel like some of you are going to make posts as well on communities, like motivational type of posts or sharing your experience. And that's going to give you a lot of like admiration. Like people are looking at this and they're admiring you. They're admiring your effort. They're admiring your like, you know, like this strong will personality that you have. Like they're looking at all these things and they're like, wow, this is amazing. So when it comes to your oracle cards what do you need to release like right now bring love into the situation i feel like this is like talking as an advice here you know a curious energy is kind of like a numb energy they they are kind of like known as like the weird signs of like the zodiac sign like people always call them like oh they're the weird ones or they're like the alien ones quote unquote so that's how like accuracies are known as so when you have a new moon in Aquarius, i feel like this energy hasn't been there for a long time this is still somewhat brand new for you and you still have a bit of hope. So don't let this energy come into the picture. Bring love into the situation because Aquariuses are all about like this numbness. They're kind of like in their own headspace. They don't really do much. But you need to let that energy go and bring love into the situation. Bringing a bit more like, you know, being a bit more kinder to yourself. Talking to people or talking to like maybe your spirit guides that gives you a bit more closure or a bit more clarity as well. That's going to be very important for you during this time and that is one of your advices here. What do you need to release right now? What is it that's holding you back from being in this energy towards going towards this energy? Like what's holding you back? This is what you need to figure out and this is also something you need to work on. Like you're in this energy right now. Why are you in this energy? Why cannot you go into this energy? What's holding you back? So that is going to be one of your biggest focuses during this time. Focus on that. But to summarize, I feel like this is moderately a positive reading. It's talking about rebirth here. I feel like new ideas are being made. New knowledge uh, is given. New things are implemented in your shifting journey. I feel like it's all about new things. You're giving rebirth to something. You're being more playful with yourself. You're giving this one more try. For some of you, this is like giving this one more shot after some time. And um, I feel like this is just going to be like, you know, starting things from scratch. But, you know, slowly but surely coming up with things that's going to work out for you at the end. All right. So that's what I see for you, pile number two. I hope this reading resonated or made some sense to you. Once again, happy Halloween. And if you wish to book a more personal reading with me, all the prices are going to be in the description box down below as well as in the pinned comment. And if you wish to see more major changes that are going to happen that's not related to shifting, you can click the video on the top. But that is it. I love you all so much. Take care and bye-bye. Hi there, pal number three. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Anne. And today I'm going to do a video on major shifting changes that are happening before 2022. So remaining days of October, November, and then December, what's coming in, what may happen during this time, I'm going to focus on that today. So before I start with the reading and everything else, happy Halloween. I hope everyone has an amazing Halloween. I hope you guys get tons of candies, dress amazingly, and just overall have a good time okay and um, I tried to make this setup look a bit more scary today I know it's clearly not working this looks more like a fireplace instead of like you know blood but I'm just gonna pretend this looks like blood I hope everyone pretends as well that this looks like blood okay I know this is this isn't scary I mean but let's just pretend this is scary and this is blood okay so let's start with the reading right now Okay, so before I show you guys the cards, I would like to give a disclaimer that this is a very generalized reading. It's going to resonate for some of you. It may also not resonate for others of you as well. So if this pile doesn't resonate, you're free to see the other two piles. If this entire video doesn't resonate, then this video wasn't meant for you during this time. If you wish to book a more in-depth and a more personal reading with me, all the prices and where you can contact me is going to be in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comments, so do check it out if you're interested. Do comment on this video if this reading resonates or you feel like it's going to resonate 
or if you have any topics or anything that you want to talk about or any requests just let me know okay i love hearing from you guys and i try to respond to every single one of you also guys do like and subscribe and like you know it helps a lot and it means a lot too but that is it let's start with the reading right now okay so this is the sticker you chose this is buttercup and um these are your cards okay oh my god it's just like going everywhere okay so communication is the key new moon in gemini a new romantic cycle begins i feel like some of you could be air signs here new moon in libra libra and gemini i feel like either some of you guys could be air signs a curious libras or gemini's or this is like the type of energy that you need to kind of like possess during this time seven of wands in reversed three of cups the hanged man ten of wands and the two of wands okay i feel like this reading is mostly based on um kind of like you know not being so hard on yourself anymore uh being a bit more kinder or with the seven of wands in reverse i feel like this is a strong indication that uh for a while some of you were very defensive about uh the things that you were receiving i think this is this is talking about into the unknown like that's kind of like the overall energy going towards something different or going towards something brand new because for a while i feel like you're very closed off or um you are not really doing anything so the thing is, it's very similar to pile number two, but the only difference here is pile number two kind of like lost hope. When it comes to this reading, I feel like you guys were deliberately not trying to gain any information, like closing yourself off by yourself. Like it was like free will. You, you were using your willpower. When it comes to pile number two, it was like situations and everything. When it comes to this pile, it's like you were closed off by yourself. Like you were trying not to gain information. You were trying to just like, you know, do things by yourself, like solo work. And I think that's something that's going to change during this time. So for a while, I feel like you guys were not taking anyone's help when it comes to other shifters, when it comes to other people, friends, and you felt very alone. And it just like for you, it was like, you know what? I'm fine by myself. I can ride this solo. You know, everything is going to be fine. Like solo, hashtag solo. I feel like that was kind of like the energy during this time. You were like, you know, not taking anyone's help. Even if you saw something, you're like, no, this is not going to work. I'm going to try and do things that works for me. So there was like a bit of like stubbornness coming in here as well. Like you were stubborn about your knowledge or your ideas and which is fine but it seems like you were so hung up on the things that you were doing you were folk you forgot that there are other things or other knowledge or other people that existed that were trying to reach out to you or those information were trying to come to you but it felt like you were very closed off from receiving them or just general closed off from everything that was happening regarding that but that energy is going to change if you see the seven of wands it's in reverse i feel like slowly you're going to lay your guard down you're going to let other people come in you're also going to let other information or other knowledge kind of like come in as well so an example of this would be like for some for some of you you were um hung up on a fact that this is the method like xyz method i'm gonna try xyz method and it's gonna work out for me you've been trying this for several months but it wasn't working but you kept on trying it instead of like looking for advice or looking for things that can you know help you in terms of figuring things out like you're very defensive about this from people from extra knowledge and everything in a sense and um What's going to happen is you're slowly going to start realizing that, you know what, maybe I shouldn't be so uptight. Maybe I should loosen up a bit. I should go with the flow. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. That's going to be one of the key factors here. You're going to realize that. And this is where I feel like the seven of wands is in reverse. Like you're not being that defensive anymore. You're not fighting everyone and everything. You're being a bit more kinder to yourself. You're letting your mind breathe as well. You're giving yourself some time as well. That's going to be one of the key factors here. I feel like um, three of cups, I think you're going to end up making some friends or if you already have friends, I feel like you're going to invite them in. For some of you, I feel like you're going to make a pack, like I'm going to shift with this friend to this reality. I'm going to do this with this friend with this reality. So I feel like you're making packs as well. After you get out of this energy, you're making some packs. You're um, kind of like, you know, being a bit more friendlier with people 
you're also being a bit more friendlier with yourself as well like not giving yourself so much crap just because you're not being able to do some things so i feel like that is going to be one of the key factors here like you're being more kinder to yourself you're allowing things to go with the flow you're allowing people to help you as well you're going to realize that you don't need to be in this journey by yourself you can expect help you can allow other people to come in i feel like for some of you you had like shitty friends sorry for cursing but i feel like for some of you you had shitty friends and that is one of the reasons on why you were so traumatized and you were so defensive but that's gonna change you're gonna have new friends or new people coming in that are gonna be much more better than your ex-friends or people that were not the best for you you're gonna have find people that understands your vibe they get along with you they know what's gonna be helpful for you so i feel like you're gonna figure some things out as well as meet people that are gonna be able to help you with that so i feel like for some of you new friends are coming in um new energies are coming in new help and just overall new like systematic things are coming in for you during this time but the hangman and the ten of wands i feel like this is gonna be a turmoil like letting go of your old habits coming out as someone who's like not uh defensive they're open to things they're open to new challenges i feel like it's gonna be a bit tough for you at times you may feel like scattered everywhere like no this is not gonna work you may give up at times but overall i feel like the thing that's gonna change for you during this time like the major change that's happening for you is i feel like you're allowing things to go with the flow you're allowing help to come in you're seeking help by yourself you're not as traumatized because of like your ex-friends or because of like ex-situations anymore you're allowing yourself to breathe you're allowing situations to improve so i feel like that is going to be one of the major changes that's going to happen for pile number three um like you're not defensive anymore sometimes you may wonder sometimes you may get anxious about cer certain things but you're not letting this energy affect you anymore you're closing that chapter 10 of wands is a completion 10 of wands talks about not just 10 of wands like 10 in general talks about completion of cycles it talks about like new beginnings so i feel like this is very much like you know in your case it's like very much true it's like you're having new beginnings you're closing the previous chapters you're letting that trauma go you're healing and you're letting other people allowing things to go with the flow allowing things to change for you that is going to be one of your major changes like you're allowing change and change is coming and it's happening because you're allowing it to happen so i feel like that is going to be your change now when it comes to your oracle cards communication is the key i feel like the more you talk the more you uh, vent out to your friends or the new people that you're going to end up talking to the more relaxed you're going to feel the more you're going to realize that no you're not crazy for thinking like this or not you're not crazy for acting like this for so long because i feel like some of you went through like some type of like trauma this could be some ex friends this could be like community drama just in general i feel like some of you did go through things like this and the more you talk to like the new people you're going to meet the more you're going to realize realize that you know what i'm not crazy i can vent there are other people that are willing to listen to me so that is going to be one of your key changes here a new romantic cycle is beginning i feel like this is talking about balance coming in you're allowing things to come in and this is in hindsight is creating a new cycle for you like i said like completion of a cycle new beginning so to summarize pile number 3 i feel like two things i see here is you're allowing change change is coming in as well as like you're uh, being a bit more free spirited when it comes to your shifting journey and allowing others and allowing friends to help you so you're going to um have like a different notion when it comes to your shifting journey in the near future i feel like for some of you this energy is going to start from end of october like within a couple of days for others of you i feel like this energy for others of you i feel like this energy is going to start from mid november all right um in this reading i'm picking up on wands so i feel like some of you could be fire signs here leo aries or sagittarius is some of you could be air signs as well but that is it that's what i see for you pile number 3 i hope this reading resonated or made some sense to you once again if you wish to book a more in depth and a more personal reading with me all the prices and where you can contact me is going to be in the description box down below so do check it out if you're interested do click on the video upwards if you want to see other changes that are happening aside from shifting but that is it i love you all so much take care and bye bye 
Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to know more about major changes that are going to happen aside from shifting, do click the link down below um, as well as like on the top portion and you can see that video as well. But that is it guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys very, very soon with the November shifting journey video. Take love and happy Halloween. Bye.